subcutaneous aspiration is the evacuation of fluid through a needle or catheter for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes where the needle or catheter is removed at the end of a procedure. This differs from drainage where a tube is usually left in place at the conclusion of the procedure. CT-guided aspiration of a pneumothorax has been performed mainly in patients with a pneumothorax following a needle biopsy of the lung. Many authors consider that computed tomography or CT guided fine needle aspiration biopsy of the vertebral body is an important tool in the diagnostic evaluation of vertebral osteomyelitis. The procedure is considered simple and safe to perform with few complications. These images were obtained during a CT-guided aspiration biopsy of L3 on an 11-year-old boy. This is a case of vertebral osteomyelitis, or capital V, capital O, of L3 caused by methylene-sensitive Staphylococcus aureus, or MSSA. After the completion of the computed tomography guided aspiration biopsy of the vertebral body of L3, vertebral osteomyelitis rapidly progressed into the vertebral body of L4 as well as the L3 L4 disc. Though not common, the most common pathway of VO or vertebral osteomyelitis is the result of hematogenous seeding. Lumbar radiculopathy is rarely caused by discal cysts. There are many benefits of using a percutaneous computed tomography guided aspiration of these cysts. Benefits include decreased rate of infection, use of local anesthesia instead of a general anesthesia, and a much quicker recovery time. These images represent a patient with a discal cyst arising from the L5 S1 disc causing right S1 radiculopathy. Following a percutaneous CT guided aspiration, the patient presented with substantial improvement in his radicular pain after 19 months of follow-up. These transaxial CT scans taken at the L5 S1 level show us prior to the CT guided aspiration, the discal cyst visualized as hyperdense in image A. After CT guided, needle placement, which we can see in the middle image, the contents of the cyst were aspirated. In the image on the right, we note the cyst is substantially smaller. A diagnosis of cyst infection is confirmed by extracting cyst fluid from the suspected cyst to help identify the microorganism or inflammatory findings. This study 
was on a 65 year old female patient with an infected cyst. The pre-contrast CT image showed a 9.7 centimeter round cyst that has higher attenuation than the surrounding cysts in the right kidney upper pole as seen by the arrow. On this portal venous phase image, the cyst shows discernible wall thickening with prominent wall enhancement and pericystic fat infiltration as noted by the arrows. Spinal discs, also known as intervertebral discs, are located in between the vertebrae in our spine. There is a jelly-like substance, which is called the nucleopulposis, in the middle of each disc. When the nucleus pulposis bulges through the outer ring, which normally keeps it in place, we call this a herniation of the disc or a slipped disc. This can be a major cause of lower back pain, which affects the patient's mobility, physical function, and quality of life. Using CT guidance, an infiltration is the injection of local anesthetics, steroids, or ozone into the lower back for the treatment of sciatic pain due to disc herniation or facet joint syndrome, as seen in these images. <laughs> 